the posterior pituitary also known as parsa nervosa or neurohypophysis posterior pituitary it is stores and release two hormones adh and oxytocin it is also known as pitocin oxytocin also known as pitocin and adh anti diuretic hormone or vasopressin it is also known as pitrecin vasopressin or pitrecin or adh oxytocin or pitocin these two hormones are stored and released from the posterior pituitary adh mainly acts at it mainly acts at kidneys so it mainly acts at the sorry acts at kidneys and this hormone helps in resorption of resorption of water from distal tubules of nephron the distal tubules are uh, dct and cd collecting duct so it mainly helps in resorption of water from distal tubules of nephron like dct and uh, cd adh prevents diuresis it prevents the diuresis what is the diuresis loss of Ah uh, yes, diarrhea is uh, loss of excess amount of water along with uh, urine. That is called diuresis. So anti-diuretic hormone prevents the diuresis. Hence the name. Hence the name. Anti-diuretic hormone. so pitrecin or adh or vasopressin it mainly acts at uh, kidneys and it helps in resorption of water from the distal tubules of nephron like dct and uh, cd thus it prevents uh, diuresis hence the name anti diuretic uh, hormone adh acts as vasoconstrictor or vasodilator ah uh, it acts as vasoconstrictor it uh, acts as the vasoconstrictor then a deficiency of adh or vasopressin result in diabetes insipidus diabetes insipidus diabetes insipidus is characterized by it is characterized by poly dipsia poly urea poly urea so the deficiency of adh resulting in diabetes uh, insipidus it is characterized by poly dipsia and poly urea poly dipsia means excessive thirst vipreetinga daham edu anmadu excessive thirst is called as poly dipsia excessive thirst is called poly dipsia and uh, excretion of uh, large quantities of diluted urine large 
large quantities of diluted urine and a healthy person excretes uh, daily 1 to 1.5 liters of urine per day but the person who are suffering with uh, diabetes insipidus excretes uh, large amounts of uh, diluted urine that is about 10 liters per day 1 to 1.5 by an healthy individual but uh, every day 10 liters of uh, urine is excreted uh, such uh, people are called diabetes insipidus people okay so the uh, persons who are suffering with diabetes insipidus uh, characterized by excessive thirst and excretion of large quantities of diluted uh, urine feeling excessive thirst is called polydipsia and excretion of large quantities of diluted urine is called polyuria right next uh, oxytocin or pitocin oxytocin or pitocin mainly acts on smooth muscles smooth muscles of the body oxytocin stimulates it stimulates the vigorous uh, contractions of the uterus at the time of parturition or at the time of child birth stimulates the vigorous contractions vigorous contractions of a uterus during a parturition or child birth so oxytocin is called as birth hormone it is a birth hormone and it stimulates ejection of milk it stimulates the ejection of uh, milk from the mammary glands ejection of milk from the mammary glands hence the name milk uh, ejecting hormone it is the milk ejecting hormone when oxytocin it is a social bonding hormone social bonding hormone or it is a love hormone why it is called as a love hormone or social bonding hormone and social relationship is strong just then but so it is a social bonding hormone or love hormone when hugging or when kissing the it triggers the release of uh, oxytocin so hugging and kissing or sexual orgasm increases the levels of uh, oxytocin and uh, strengthen the bonding between the people so it is called as a social bonding hormone or it is a love hormone right next uh, so that's all about posterior pituitary so posterior pituitary also known as pars nervosa it stores and release the adh and oxytocin but actually these two hormones are synthesized from hypothalamus adh also known as pitrecin or vasopressin it mainly acts at kidneys resorption of water from the uh, not only water electrolytes also water and electrolytes from the distal tubules of nephron like dct and uh, cd and it prevents uh, diuresis hence the name anti diuretic hormone and uh, it acts as a vasoconstrictor but there is one powerful uh, vasoconstrictor in the human body that is uh, angiotensin 2 angiotensin 2 is a powerful constrictor in the human body but uh, this is just only constrictor okay it constricts the blood vessels of the kidney and thereby increases the bp blood pressure increases then what deficiency of adh uh, uh, leads to diabetes insipidus it is characterized by polydipsia and polyuria polydipsia is the excessive thirst and polyuria is the excretion of large quantities of diluted urine that person excretes approximately 10 liters of urine per day and oxytocin and it results in dehydration and fall in bp fall in bp and dehydration are the two other characteristic features of uh, polyuria or diabetes uh, insipidus oxytocin and pitocin acts on the smooth muscles of the body and initiates the contraction of smooth muscles 
and stimulates the vigorous contractions of the uterus during a childbirth or parturition, hence the name birth hormone. And also it stimulates the ejection of uh, milk, uh, so it is the milk uh, ejecting hormone. And uh, as it strengthens the, the relationship between the people by hugging or kissing, so hugging and kissing uh, triggers the release of oxytocin levels in the body. So this hormone is called as social bonding hormone or love hormone. Okay. Right, next uh, thyroid gland. 